You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill all hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness, and love, O sacred heart, O Lord. May all hearts be united to your sacred heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins. Purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus We do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise for you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you, King of Kings, praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. And Lord, we pray that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for those who persecute your people, that your Holy Spirit may touch their hearts so that their eyes may be opened and they may become your followers. And Jesus, we pray for all bishops, especially we pray for our Bishop Brown, we pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And gracious Father, we pray that you bring healing to those who are sick, especially 
those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, neurological diseases, neuromuscular diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray, gracious Father, for Evelia, who has been sick with some high blood pressure and heart problems, and for her husband, who is also sick with multiple sclerosis, and essentially they he's supposed to be taking care of her, and she's supposed to be taking care of him, but they're both sick, and so they need your help. Then pour your Holy Spirit upon them, O oh Lord, and strengthen them and um, help them uh, regain their health that they will outdo each other with love for one another that everything that the one does for the other will be extremely appreciated by by each other that they will be so thankful and so grateful for every little thing that they do for each other that there will be no room for criticism. There will be no room for complaining. There will be no room for quarreling of any kind. For when people are tired, Lord, they get stressed out. They lose their tempers. They they lose their patience. And so this is difficult for people who are healthy. So I can only imagine how difficult it must be for them who are both sick. Also pray, Heavenly Father, for Sandra, who uh, has applied for Social Security disability. She needs that, Lord. She, she, I think she meets the criteria. I know her personally, Jesus. You know, my Lord, that she is sick and that she will benefit greatly from receiving Social Security disability and um and so we pray for her, that you will bless her and help her with that. Gracious Father, also pray that you bless her finances. That you will touch her husband with your Holy Spirit. And he be so filled with your Spirit, Lord, that he will not be able to contain himself from coming to know you even more and more every day and seek you. At every turn and everything that he does. Pray for the entire family, Lord. That you will be the center of the entire family. And gracious Father, I pray for Ella. Little girl who went for a basic procedure. And he turned for the words. Jesus, you are powerful indeed. Have mercy on her. And on her entire family. Pray for all those parents who have a little baby, little child in the hospital. Down pour your Holy Spirit upon them, O oh Lord, and comfort them. And give them courage and hope and faith. So that they can endure the difficult situation which their little babies are going through. And Jesus, we pray for Evelyn. Bless her with your Holy Spirit, O oh Lord, and guide her and strengthen her. Help her be efficient, productive, and timely on her work. And help her seek you more and more every day we pray for Christine who has been accepted into med school actually she was accepted into a couple of them uh, there might be some others on their way she's thankful and grateful I'm thankful and grateful that she got into at least one of them bless Every decision that she makes with regards to her desire to serve you as a physician, that she may put you first at everything that she does so that from her focus on you, 
her decisions will be made accordingly. We're still waiting for some schools, uh, although she has accepted one admission already. Uh, there's a school that she really wants to go to because it makes sense for her financially, primarily, because she already has um, connections there and because uh, she wants to research and so the school provides for that. So she still awaits for that if it is your will. Bless her with that. Uh, but do not take this from me or from her to mean that uh, we're not completely happy and ecstatic that she's actually going to med school for it was hard enough to get in. And so we praise you and thank you for that. Thank you also for all the people that were praying for her, Lord, to know that there are so many brothers and sisters out there that will get into the trench trenches with you and do battle with you for the glory of your name. That's a wonderful gift, Lord, and we praise you for that. Lord, I pray for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus, for the sacred heart of Jesus Chapel, and for the missionary diocese of the sacred heart of Jesus. We want to spread the devotion to you, Lord, around the world, but we want to start right here. Newport, Ritchie, Clearwater, Tampa, on this area. Build a core group of people. And from that core group, continue to expand. Right now, there's people from around the world listening to this prayer. So there's people from around the world who are interested on in working with um, the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. But Jesus, as you know, it takes resources and well, we don't have those. And so I feel that perhaps if we grow a core group here and expand from here, we'll be able to serve the people from around the world, especially those who live in very poor countries, a lot better. But let it be your will upon us, O oh Lord. Let it be your will. And Jesus, we pray for those who are homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the sacred heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy. The gift of distinguishing between spirits. The gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues. The gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love, all according to your will, and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power 